can you see Mr Alcock right alongside the incident he was perfectly positioned twice right um, but there are players who this is the goal coming up there was a query there about offside but if you see that ball it's delivered from a very wide position it was at least a 45 yard ball and I don't think Telfer was offside and that was a, a turn and rather sweet because when you score a second goal in 87 minutes even we can't get in such a tangle not too many times anyway that to let the other a, team back indeed that must have been a real bonus to see Kerry Dixon doing what he's, he's proved he can do year after year yes I think Kerry um, you know Kerry needs a revival and uh, we, we're giving him that platform John moment. Hartson just 18 and still finding his way at this level but he looks a great prospect he's the first on Saturday Barnsley had been reduced to 10 men as early as the third minute. Skipper Jerry Taggart committing a bruising foul on Julian James. Luton made that advantage pay. Scott Oakes with the second before half time. Then Oakes and Hartson combined to find James, and he put the game beyond doubt with a tremendous solo effort. This was to be Luton's biggest win in the league since they hit Southampton for six back in 1989 in the old First Division. Kerry Hughes contributed to at least three of the goals. He set up the fourth for Scott Houghton, his first goal for the club. And Luton underlined their superiority with another cool finish from Scott Oakes. That after Hartson kept his composure in the box. Luton, 5-0 winners out of the bottom three, but more importantly in the goals. Five here, as many as they've scored in the first seven games of the season. We've had a bit of a problem in the last few games. We haven't uh, had the luck in you know, the run of the mill with the goals, but. Yeah, I think uh, Saturday proved that you know we can finish, and if uh, everything goes for us, we'll score a lot of goals.